In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for NOCl. We'll start with the Lewis structure and note that for this Lewis structure, the nitrogen, it is in the center of the Lewis structure, even though it's on the end in the formula. Just something to be aware of. So when we look at our Lewis structure, we can use this table here with steric number to figure out the molecular geometry. So we're looking at how many things are attached to the central nitrogen. We have one, two atoms, and one lone pair. So our steric number is three, and we said we have one lone pair. If we go over, we see we have a bent molecular geometry with a bond angle of about 120 degrees. It won't be exact, these are general numbers. For this compound, this bond angle is 113 degrees. Let's visualize the molecular geometry or shape here for NOCl. So the purple, that'll be the central nitrogen atom. We have the double bonded oxygen, and then we have the chlorine. So they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other, but we still have that lone pair. So we put this lone pair on and it occupies space and it pushes down both of these atoms, the chlorine and the oxygen. That gives us a bent molecular geometry. With our NOCl, we have this lone pair pushing down. That'll push these closer together. That's what gives us the 113 number. So our molecular geometry is bent. If we look at the electron geometry, where we take into account this pair of electrons, it's actually trigonal planar because it's all in a plane and we have three things. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. Finally, we can use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry or shape for NOCl. So A, that's the central atom, that's the nitrogen. X is the number of atoms attached. We have one, two, and then E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have one lone pair here on the nitrogen. That means we have AX2E. If you look that up, you'll find out that is a bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the shape for the NOCl molecule, its bond angles, and electron geometry. Thanks for watching.